is a lot of controversy in South Africa right now following the passing of the famous rapper AKA. It actually goes without saying that such an event will attract a lot of talks and opinions from various social media personalities. It's so sad that taking others' life has become something unfamiliar, especially in South Africa. Right now, so many people are very eager to know what actually happened to this celebrity. I'm pretty sure we can recall the incident which took place at the hotel in Cape Town, which led to the painful exit of AKA's ex-girlfriend, Anneli Tembe. Guess what, guys? Anneli Tembe's father, Moses Tembe, accused her daughter's ex-boyfriend, AKA, of taking her daughter's life and making it look like she jumped off the building on her own. Well, here is an interesting fact. Anneli Tembe was from Durban and AKA was gunned down in Durban. Doesn't it sound suspicious? Well guys, before we dive right into the video, please hit the subscription button to get notified each time we post interesting content like this. The National Prosecuting Authority NPA has confirmed that the family of the former fiancé of the late rapper aka Anele Tembe has sent a letter claiming that he was responsible for her death. However, the, the NPA has declined to give further details, saying it was a matter between it and the family. Tembe died from injuries sustained during a fall from the 10th floor of a hotel in Cape Town in 2021. City Press is reporting that the letter was written by the Tembe family's lawyer to NPA two weeks after it declined to prosecute the rapper for her death. It said the family claimed that AKA, whose real name is Kiernan Forbes, had clean blood stains inside the room after she plunged to her death. The family also claimed that Forbes failed to go downstairs, despite Tembe being alive for about 20 minutes after her fall. AKA was killed in Durban a week ago, almost two years after Tembe's death. The MPA told Eyewitness News it was not at liberty to share any more details about the investigation into Tembe's death with the media. All this being said, guys, I personally think that the police should carry out a proper investigation in order to uncover the truth about this controversy. However, I would really love to get your take on this. What do you guys really think about the growing family feud between the Tembe's and the Forbes? Did Moses Tembe cross the line when he accused AKA of killing his daughter? Do you guys really think he was the mastermind behind AKA's ambush as a revenge strategy? Or do you think AKA was gunned down by a third party? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Well, we have come to the end of this video. Catch you next time when we bring more celebrity gist to your screen.